A new report's come out in August 2022 that shows 33% of consumers right now are in financial distress. What does that mean for you? What does that mean for all small business clients trying to make money online? We're about to find out by going through this report together. Hi there, my name's Kyle from Social Geeks Digital Agency. We're gonna dive into a report that's just dropped that surveyed over 8,000 consumers from eight leading countries in the world, talking about how they're feeling leading into the holiday period. The main findings of this report was that all consumers in these countries are planning on making cutbacks due to the rising cost of living and inflation in each country, totaling around $46 billion worth of cuts in holiday spend. This report's highlighted a lot of crazy statistics, but it doesn't mean that the world is ending. We've been through hardship before as a society. It just means that we need to be smart. If you know what you're spending and you know what you're earning, you can make good financial choices for both your business and your family. If you wanna dig deeper in this report, I highly recommend that you download the report yourself. I'll put the link in the video below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was informative and that you learned something here. In this report, they talk about which sectors are mainly affected and what consumers are planning to cut back on most. But I thought one of the alarming statistics was that three in five people are planning to make cutbacks on their holiday spending. This was two times higher for less affluent consumers. The most shocking part of this report was that 34% of consumers are already in financial distress leading into the holiday period. That was scary. Now, if you're a small business owner, you're probably already feeling the rising costs as well. The main areas of costs that seem to be affecting businesses the most are the rising cost of shipping, with nine out of 10 businesses stating that they were expecting costs to increase further with the end of 2022. The first section of this report talks about the financial squeeze. What are the areas that consumers are most concerned about and how are they seeing these financial changes affect their lives? The first was obviously inflation. The cost of living seems to be affecting everyone in the world right now and it's really impacting the way that we are going about our day-to-day -day lives. The second biggest reason in section two with the financial squeeze was uncertainty in the economy. Everyone has been hearing about stagflation, inflation, a recession, possibly a Great Depression. So it seems that most consumers are quite concerned about where the economy is headed. The third biggest reason that people were feeling the financial squeeze was a lack of savings. 11% of the consumers cited this as their top concerns leading into the holiday period. When you rank order this by country, Australia is fairly fortunate in terms of the fact that it's seen the lowest rise in inflation. It does seem that Australia is weathering the storm better than other countries, but at the same time, the same pressures are applying to consumers here as they are abroad. When looking at these different countries, it is important to note that every country is gonna be different when you are surveying consumers. However, I was surprised at the consistency across the board. 33% of all these consumers were in financial distress, and that to me is quite alarming. Australia was slightly lower, but still 29% of consumers right now in Australia are feeling financially distressed, not just concerned, but are actually struggling to pay for their living costs and so on. A further 13% of Australian consumers are feeling stretched thin. So they're still able to pay for things, but they're feeling the pinch of rising inflation costs. So we're nearly close to half of consumers in Australia that were surveyed are feeling the pinch. That means that if you're a small business trying to sell during the holiday periods, that you need to be conscious of the fact that a third of consumers right now are struggling to pay the bills. It seems to be across the board in the US, the UK, and most of the countries that were surveyed in most of these countries that consumers are feeling either distressed financially or stretched thin. When consumers were asked, where are you planning to cut back? Three in five consumers said they were planning on cutting back in some way, with about a quarter of those saying that they were planning on cutting back on everything across the board. When looking at the landscape of where people were planning to cut back, the highest percentage was for apparel and clothing, with 26% of respondents saying that apparel and clothing was the first area they were planning to make cuts. 22% of respondents said they would cut back on electronic goods, and 20% said they were gonna cut back on toys. Now these statistics are even higher when you look at the affluence of these consumers as well. The people who are in distress said that they were planning on cutting back in apparel at 33% of that rate. So people who are in financial distress or feeling the pinch already are twice as likely to make cuts in those areas. In this report, consumers were asked, how long do you expect the rising cost of living to affect you? And the average was two years going into the future. It does seem that people think that this is gonna be a long-term issue that we face as a society. The last section of this report does cover on how you can get through the holiday period and do the best you possibly can as a business selling online. So what can you do about this right now? The first thing is looking at your pricing and make sure that you're providing great value to your customers. If you're a business selling online, you need to be looking at the warning signs now. 
The biggest thing that people are looking for are deals. You need to be with the times and making sure that you're offering good incentives to get people back. Consumers are very price conscious. So look at your competitors and make sure that you're being as competitive as possible in terms of how you're pricing your items. Focus primarily on your previous customers to see if they will buy again from you, especially when every business is trying to advertise through the holidays and trying to get as many consumers as they can during the holiday period. They are your loyal audience. Those are the people that you want to target again and again because they've bought from you once, so it's likely that they'll buy from you again. Before going into the holiday period, if you haven't already, it's a good idea to look through your customer journey from the moment that they find out about you through to shopping on your website and being able to place an order what does that process look like? And once they've purchased, how are you making sure that that customer experience from order to delivery is really smooth and easy and that they know exactly when they're gonna get it, all of those things. It's a good idea to audit these processes. Check out your email automation as well for your customer welcome series and see, are you emailing customers and welcoming them into your brand and explaining to them why they've made the right decision by shopping with you. That's it for today's episode, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you found this information valuable. If you did, please take a second to subscribe to us on YouTube and on any podcast channel that you're listening to. And if you feel awesome, you can give us a review. Stay tuned for future content where we'll go through industry reports and provide a whole bunch of marketing tips for you and your business. This has been another episode of the Social Geeks Podcast. My name is Kyle and I hope you have a great day. All the best for the holidays and stay safe, everyone. <laughs> Take care. Welcome to the Social Geeks Podcast, socialgeeks.com.au. Sign up for your own website now and download and watch free guides, courses, and videos to help your business thrive online.